Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Greece calls on Germany to cough up war reparations. EU ministers block the limiting of biofuels. Brussels tells Cameron to give migrants benefits. Plus, legislation on European social entrepreneurship. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, a top-secret report compiled at the behest of the Finance Ministry in Athens has come to the conclusion that Germany owes Greece billions in World War II reparations. Almost 60 years after the end of World War II, the generation whose mostly deceased ancestors suffered the tragedy of the Second World War find themselves so backed into a corner by the EU Troika that they are now trying anything to save their country from the precipice of collapse. Is this the vision of our EU appointees? Is this really a Europe of more democracy and more integration? Mr Barroso, in his State of the Union address, said we need more democracy and more integration. Well, Manuel, your words appear empty and your project is not working. Open your eyes. Look at the people of Greece, Spain, Cyprus, Portugal. Yes, Manuel, Portugal, your homeland, your people are fleeing Portugal en masse and running to Angola and Mozambique. Biofuels and low-carbon sustainable energy production is a controversial topic. But let's step back from the detailed debate and look at the bigger picture on a macro scale. We have an ever-growing population and growing housing and growing domestic and industrial transport requirements. With this comes a greater requirement for food, fuel and energy. This requirement can only be fulfilled via one of three routes – agriculture, natural oil and gas resources or nuclear. It's generally accepted that peak oil has been reached and nuclear has much political baggage which realistically only leaves agriculture to provide both food and fuel. Thus the demands on productive land is growing, whilst the quantity of available land is diminishing. <laughs> I leave you to do the math. This article details the work of our EU ministerial thinkers as they wrestle with this problem. Au contraire, Monsieur Cameroni, we in the EU have the legal supremacy and you, my little bon premier, will not refuse to provide benefits to EU migrants. Yes, folks, you'll discover that indeed, since the signing of the treaties of Maastricht and, concretely solidified by the Lisbon Treaty, our top dog David Cameron is not really top dog at all. In fact, he's a disobedient puppy and the Nazgul rulers of EU Mordor have spotted his rebellion over EU migrant benefits. It's time to be afraid, DC, for the eye of Barroso is upon you. Do not take our European Commission for some cheap conjurer of tricks. No doubt little revealed in the mainstream press, this article sets out the reality behind Mr Cameron's claims that he will withhold benefits from EU migrants. Our researcher John has uncovered an interesting piece of legislation. This article looks at the European Social Entrepreneurship Fund. You have to tip your hat from time to time at the elvish craft of legally scribes at the Commission. It's nothing short of miraculous how they can say so much of nothing with so few words. Check this out, and I quote, A collective investment undertaking that invests at least 70% of its aggregate capital contributions in assets that are qualifying investments. I have to say, the document makes for mind-bending reading, but if I understand it correctly, it represents amendments to the existing investment fund that is used to promote entrepreneurship in and around social enterprise. Today, in our video library, powerless to change their fate, having lost their ability to govern themselves to a totalitarian EU, which appoints technocrats and inflicts terrible austerity on the people via the bankster gang, the EU Troika. 
The people of Greece, Spain and Portugal flee from their countries, almost like it was occupied and bombarded by an invading army. I'm Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the words section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+. Links to the community page are below.